Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to check if your Toyota vehicle has a remote starter. Um, I've divided this video up into two parts. One is to check if your vehicle has a remote starter, and the second part is discussing, in my opinion, what is kind of a flaw in the remote starter function, um, which and how do I get around that flaw, okay? So let's start with the remote starter. How to check if you have a remote starter. Simplest thing is check your car manual. Pretty basic. If you don't have your car manual, you know, the physical copy, you can usually find it on the internet, like a PDF version or something, but hey, if you still can't find it, whatever, I'm gonna show you how to get this done. So um, I'm gonna explain some things to keep in mind is that in my situation, I have a 2020 Highlander XLE hybrid. When I remote start my hybrid vehicle, I don't hear the engine turn on because by default, it'll turn into battery mode. If you're in a similar situation as me and you're not sure if your vehicle turned on or not, just simply walk over to the driver's window, look inside and see if all your dashboard screen, your, all your gauges and light, lights have turned on. That's the easiest tell. So what I'm gonna do is explain how to test if you have a remote starter and then show it in action. So you'll be explained twice how to get this done. It's super, super easy. Keep in mind that this is the method that works here in North America, so Canada, US, Mexico. Uh, if you're in Asia or Europe, it might not be the same method, but you can give it a shot. So what do you do? You take your key fob and you're gonna press the lock button three times in a row. With Between each press, you're gonna press it within a second of each other. And on the third press, you're gonna hold it down. So basically, you're gonna do one, two, three, and on the third press, hold the lock button down until you see the hazard lights flashing on your vehicle on its own. That's pretty much it, nothing complicated. So let me show it in action now. So I'm gonna go over to my vehicle. I'm gonna press the lock button three times in a row. So one, two, three. I'm holding on the third press. Hazard lights flash automatically. I can let go of the lock button because I know it's gonna automatically start at this point. A couple of things to keep in mind is that in my Highlander XLE, if, if the key fob is in my pocket and I walk up to the handle, the second I touch it, the sensor turns on, it unlocks the doors, the uh, remote starter feature turns off. If you just simply press the unlock button on the key fob as well, the remote start will also stop. And the last method to stop remote starter is if you have the Toyota Connect remote app, which I do go over in another video. I'll put a link to that in the video description. And that's pretty much it. If for some reason my method does not work for you, it could be for a few reasons. The geography, because remember I said if you're like Asia or Europe, maybe this won't work for you. Maybe Toyota has a different way to get a remote starter working. The other reason it might not work for you is that maybe you didn't press the frequency of the lock button at the correct timing. When I first got my car, I used to press it three times in a row. It didn't work because I just didn't get the timing right. So try it several times. Maybe it'll work for you. The third reason it might not work for you is because you don't have a remote starter. You know, unfortunately, it sucks, but that might be the case. Okay, so now talking about the flaw of the remote starter feature, at least here in North America. So myself here in Canada, a lot of people in the US, I, I've researched on forums, have the same uh, problem with the remote starter feature. So let me give you an example. Back in the day, my dad's 2004 Chevy Impala, if your remote starts his car, it'll blast all the heat and the windshield defrosting because it assumes in the winter, it's gonna defrost and help melt the ice. You can chip away very easily. The Toyota that I have, 2020 Highlander XLE Hybrid, with all its smart features and the ability to connect it to Google Assistant, the ability to control it from my smartphone, does not do that. So how do you get around this annoyance? Uh, it's pretty easy, but just annoying that you have to do it in the first place. So let's take the winter, which is probably the most common issue, is when you're gonna park your car for a long time somewhere, before you turn off your vehicle, turn on the fan and the heat to the settings you want it set to as if it was going to defrost. So that means turning on your windshield defrost, your temperature and everything. Then turn off the vehicle. So the next time you turn on your vehicle with remote start, it'll kick on the fans exactly the way you left it when you turn off your vehicle. Same idea in the summer. Before you park your car, maybe you're gonna go in the mall, it's a super hot day, turn on all the air conditioning and the temperature to the setting you want. So when you turn it on with a remote starter, it'll turn on the air conditioning exactly the way you left it when you turn off your vehicle. That's pretty much it. So I hope this video was informative and helpful. Um, if it was, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.